In this video, we will discuss about Tex Hedge uh, disease. This, this this is one of the deadliest diseases as the lifespan in this uh, case in this disease is very short. So, what happens in this case? That there is a mutation in the uh, Hex A enzyme, and because of this, uh, it is not able to digest GM2 uh, gangly gangliosides and it, uh, with time this gm2 gangliosides get accumulated in the lysosome of the cells as and eventually leads to uh, problems mainly in neural system and in the brains due to the accumulation of toxic substance so hex a enzyme has two different subunit one is alpha subunit and another one is beta subunit and hex a gene is responsible for alpha subunit and hex b gene is responsible uh, for production of uh, beta subunit so if there is a mutation in hex a gene then this disease is known as texas disease if there is a mutation in hex b gene then the disease is known as something else and if there is a mutation in gm2 a gene then disease is known as some uh, something else so what happens in the normal case let us understand first the normal case in the normal case where taxal disease is not there this gm2 gangly gangliosides that is present in the cytoplasmic membrane will move towards the lysosome uh, with normal hex a enzyme uh, is present in the lysosome so this will uh, take up by the hex a enzyme and the breaking of this gm2 gang ganglio gangliosides occurs and it will release into the uh, uh, cytoplasm of the cells for further use whereas in case of uh, mutant hex a where hex a is not able to uh, perform its function because of disruption in transcription translation and their native structure formation the gm2 gangliosides will not be able to uh, uh, break down in this case in case of mutant hex a and it will release as it is uh, 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 it will not release as it is it will accumulate within the lysosome of the cells and with time the lysosome will get overcrowded with uh, this gm2 gangliosite that leads to uh, several problems as they are mentioned in the right side uh, most important uh, most frequently observed problems are the reduction in the motor or the movement cerebral and spino uh, cerebral function and this is related to the uh, cerebral function is related to the brain and this spino cerebral functions might be related to the uh, nervous system and there are the other uh, problems that are mentioned here and this is the reason for the problem as the accumulation of membrane cytoplasmic bodies containing ganglionocytes they are accumulated in the lysosome and it will des destroy or destructs the neuron and it might even cause problem at the retina as the uh, swelling of the retina might occurs because of the uh, um, because of the stretched lysosomes so let us now understand what are the uh, one of the approach that can be used to treat this texas disease uh, that is the uh, that approach is known as enzyme replacement uh, therapy so here first we understand the overview in the overview uh, in the tex uh, texh disease hex a gene is not performing its function normally and in case of send off disease hex b gene is not performing its function normally so in both the cases this uh, plasmid can be inserted with the help of uh, viral vector such as adeno associated virus and this experiment has been done in the mice uh, and for the mice that does not uh, that does not get this uh, adeno, as adeno associated virus with uh, this plasmid has a short lifespan that is of 138 days whereas mice that gets uh, regular or systematic delivery of this adeno associated virus 9 with this plasmid uh, has seen increase in life span to 634 days and uh, this cns storage uh, has been shown that is central nervous system uh, storage has been shown 
in case of the in case of the mice that is not uh, treated with the adeno associated virus with the in plasmid of interest and it can be seen that the cns uh, is not functioning normally and there is a continuous accumulation that it can that can be seen from the dark spot whereas in case of and uh, that could be the indication of a gm2 accumulation whereas in case of the mice that is treated with this viral vector along with this uh, that contain this a plasmid of interest does not show any gm2 accumulation it means that gm2 clearance has been occurred because uh, that could be because of this injection of uh, this uh, plasmid of interest that generate normal hexa alpha and that uh, that general normal hexa alpha and beta subunit and what uh, how actually this adeno associated virus works is that this adeno associated virus takes the plasmid of interest into the nucleus of the cell where it gets integrated with the uh, host genome and since now the normal hex a and hex b gene has been integrated into the host genome it will, the uh, host cellular machinery will uh, translate and will transcribe and translate this uh, normal gene into normal enzyme mrna and then further the translation occur in the cytosol of the cells to form a normal hexa enzyme and that after uh, passing through this normal post translation modification that is in endoplasmic reticulum and then to golgi and then finally goes to its final destination that is lysosome and some part of this protein are also secreted outside the cells so that it can work on or the other cell can it can work on extracellular matrix or other cell cells can take up this uh, take up this hexa enzyme and <coughs> that uh, that will help to reduce the lysosome loads on that cells so this is how uh, uh, in within the cell this adeno associated virus along with this plasmid of interest function uh, or we can say in normal terms this is how the enzyme replacement therapy for taxx disease or synop disease uh, function within the cells so right now uh, all these things are on clinical trial and yet to be approved i hope you like this video and it will it might have enhance your some kind of basic knowledge about this tech tay sec disease that's all for this video thank you for your time